everyone, my name is Katie Carson and welcome back to the 2019 Secret Soap series. This is video number two. Holy smokes, y'all had so many guesses on the first video. I didn't know people would be so engaged. I didn't know they would care. But I'm so glad you guys are having fun. And I feel like this video is going to throw a wrench in all of your guesses. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be using a lot of gold. We're going to be using some soap cubes. It's going to be very interesting. So without further ado, let's make secret soap number two. Huh? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. It is time to make the second soap of the secret soap series 2019. And I have been wanting to make a soap similar to this for probably, oh, three years now. So this, this might be the one I'm the most excited about. Look at this stick blender. It's brand new. This is the one that matches the pink one that I've been using. I like these. I don't think they're as durable as the Cuisinart, and I know I'm saying that right, by the way, but it is about $15 cheaper, so I guess you can just kind of pick. Do you want to invest a little more or save a little money? I'm just going to place that in my bucket of oils, and I'm going to pour the lye solution down the stick blender. This is always kind of hard for y'all to see because my bucket is is an awkward shape. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's blend this up on high until we are just past emulsion. So I'm gonna pour off a little bit of my batter into these containers. And now that I have my three separate containers, we're gonna start adding the colorants. So this year's Secret Soap series is a little bit different from last time because I'm actually gonna tell you guys the fragrance oils and the colorants I'm putting in. I'm just not telling you the theme, the inspiration, what it's supposed to be, any of that. So the first color that we're putting into the large bucket is King's Gold Mica from Brambleberry mixed with true yellow from TKB Trading. We just gonna drip, drip, drop that right into the soap. And I added true yellow to this particular color mix because I want it to anchor the gold. Sometimes golds tend to fade in cold process soap. Adding an actual yellow color will help it stay well nice and shiny and gold. Into this container right here, I'm adding a little bit of Aztec gold. This is from TKB Trading as well with a little bit of titanium dioxide mixed with water. That is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And then in this container, we are only adding Aztec gold. So we should have three varieties of gold by the end of the mixing. I've created my own custom fragrance oil blend for today. It is Black Cherry Balm from Nature's Garden mixed with Mango Sorbet from Nature's Garden. So it's a very fruity mix. With the fragrance oil all blended in, it is time to add our inside embeds. So these are little chunks of jewel-toned soap cubes. So we've got green and purple and red and blue, and they've been colored in King's Gold Mica. So I'm gonna put a little bit in into each one of the containers. Just gonna dump these in here. The soap is still plenty runny, which is a good thing. In fact, I might wait for it to set up a little bit before mixing these colors together and pouring it into our molds because I still want the colors to remain just sort of distinct, I would say. And now with my spatula, I am going to gently fold this into place. The soap is setting up so that all of them aren't sinking to the bottom at this point, but I wanna make sure that there's some at the bottom, some in the middle, and some at the top. So this has sat up a little bit now. So I'm going to take my two accent colors and pour them down the sides of this container. It's gonna be a little bit messy, a little bit gloopy. We gonna scrapey scrapey out our container. Pour this one down this side. This has set up to the perfect consistency and we are ready to pour this into our two brambleberry molds after this quick commercial break. 
Time to pour. This is going to be a relatively sloppy pour because there's some big chunks in there. So I'm gonna try to pour slowly. <laughs> oh no, it's so floppy. Ah! Oh no. <laughs> okay, now that some of it is out, it's a lot easier to pour. And because I mixed in all those little soap cubes into each one of the colors, they are coming in here at the very top as well. So they'll be evenly distributed throughout the entire batch. I'm gonna wipe down the sides here, clean up those edges. I'm surprised I didn't make a bigger mess because I really thought that I was going to. Okay, so everything has been poured into the mold and now we can get started on the soap frosting. Atiko 808 piping tip. We have King's Gold and True Yellow mixed together for the frosting. And we're just gonna start piping away. This really matches the color on the inside, but it was so pretty mixing it up as the frosting. So since we can't talk about the soap, I have other topics prepared for our conversation today together. And I was thinking about this last night as I I was binge watching a TV show that I was recently reminded of. I watched a YouTube video of a guy that takes children's TV shows or teenager TV shows and kind of just talks about them. It's all stuff from whenever I was a teenager, so probably about 10 years or so ago. One of the things that he talked about was like everything wrong with Camp Rock. It's like Camp Rock, you know, why was it so bad? And he does other, other shows like that. So one of the shows that he did, it was on autoplay, so it just went on to the next one, is a show called H2O. I hope there are so many people like just bouncing up and down in their chairs right now going, H2O, that was my favorite. So I only knew about this. I never got to see this. I don't know if it wasn't on cable. I only got to watch cable at my grandma's house. <laughs> so my um, exposure to cable TV was limited at best. So whenever this YouTuber was talking about it on his channel, he mentioned that H2O was free to watch on YouTube. Like they uploaded all the seasons, like full episodes on YouTube. So I thought, oh, I always wanted to watch that. I definitely heard of it, but never had the chance. So let's do that now, now that I'm 25. Long story short, I'm completely hooked and I'm on season two right now. And it's only been like a week. It's so entertaining. And I don't want to spoil anything because all of y'all could really like go watch the whole thing right now because it's free on YouTube, but there are mermaids involved. They've got great accents. There's romance. There's danger. There's adventure. I'm, I'm addicted. I'm totally addicted. I'm not even ashamed of it. I know that was for preteens in the early 2000s, and I'm not ashamed. I'll put this last little dollop on. I specifically made these a little bit taller. Kenny was making fun of me. I made these pine being a little bit taller so that I could fill this in and it could be relatively flat on top because of the type of embeds I'm using. This was a strategic move, not laziness. I was just trying to help. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I will admit that sometimes I do rush the piping a little bit because I'm so excited about putting the embeds on. <laughs> Embeds are my favorite part, my very favorite part. Okay, <laughs> all right, the piping's done. So now we're going to add some gold. I've got Sparkle Sunshine here from Mad Micah's. It is the most beautiful gold fairy duster. As a word of warning, it does tend to go everywhere though. So be sure you spray it very close to your soap. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, so shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. As the orc in Lord of the Rings likes to say, That's my shiny shit. <laughs> Now, as another tip, to make sure that every angle of your soap frosting is covered, you should spritz down both sides and then come back and go the other way. See, so I'll start here. I'll come down this side, come down this side, and then go back <laughs> the way that I came. We're going to Grandma 
grandma's house and then we're going back home. Now I'm going to be adding some bath water crystals that have been covered in a fairy duster and a few other little micas. It's my own secret blend. It makes them look, well, like four different colors. Sort of like an opal. That was the whole point of it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a few of these on here. I made way too much, but that's okay because I'm gonna use it for other batches. I just want a little bit on here. Just a little bit of shiny, shiny. Rad. Look at my fingies. Y'all see that color shift on there? Ooh. Now for some embeds. <laughs> oh, Shelly, my embed impress. How you do impress me with these embeds. <laughs> These are colored with some liquid colorants from TKB Trading. This one is Relay Race Red, and this one is Blowout Blue. And each little soapy is going to have two of them. Wow, this treasure looks like Smag's treasure. Shh. Where's the Arkenstone, Katie? So I have more gems to put on, but I also have these pearls to put on, and it's going to take me a while. So I will complete both the gems and the pearls really, really quick, thanks to movie magic. Now that all the embeds are in, it's time to put glitter on top. So I have Electrum Glitter from Eco Stardust, and then I have in this one, this is Tropical Pressure Glitter from Eco Stardust. I'm just gonna take my popsicle stick and put a whole bunch of glitter on. I wouldn't use that spoon. This is the only one! It's an ugly color. So after too many flubs with my, my popsicle stick, I have traded for a spoon. <laughs> oh well. Oh no! <laughs> I'm no good at this game. I need a salt shaker. This tropical pressure glitter is so pretty. And the reason why I picked it was just to pull a little more color into the top. Why? Well, I can't tell you why. I'm simply going to spritz this with rubbing alcohol. Very gently. Okay. What are you doing? What is that spritzing? That's not spritzing. What did you just do? I. <laughs> Why are you doing that? That's not spreading it out evenly. Here, give me that thing. I didn't want that much. What if the glitter biodegrades? Oh, poo. <laughs> and voila! Secret soap number two is done. Oh, secret soap number two. What a glorious mess you are. <laughs> Honestly, I just really like all the glitter on top mixed with all the gems and the pearls. This is definitely one of my favorites. So we're going to wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and we will chop these up into little bits. No, I'm just kidding. Just into bars. <laughs> After this quick commercial break. Friends, countrymen, we have returned to cut this beautiful, beautiful loaf. I have not done, to my recollection, a loaf that consisted only of golds before. So this is just, oof, it is filling a void. Also, that smell, yes, please feel free to use that blend in your own creations. You will not be sorry. Now, as much as I tried to get everybody where they were supposed to be for this particular bar, it does appear that a couple of gems are getting the chop. And I don't have my single bar cutter in my film studio, so it is unfortunate but necessary. I'm just gonna press down gently and I am gonna go slowly because of those cold process embeds on the inside. And now let's pull someone here from the middle. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes! Look on this side, oh boy. The swirl is looking really magnificent. There is just enough swirl so that you can see all the different colors, but not so much that they've mixed together. And it looks like each one has a little bit of every color showing, at least on one side. So that's very cool. And then of course the tops, my goodness gracious. Seriously though, look at those tops. They're so beautiful. Okay, so the question of the day is, would you rather find sunken treasure or buried 
treasure. Of course, the difference being that sunken treasure was in the ocean. It's at the very depths of the heart of the sea. Mermaids have left it alone for centuries. Nobody has touched it, and you are the one that has brought it to the top. Is it cursed? Who knows? And buried treasure, of course, meaning it was on land, perhaps a deserted island, by pirates, pirate blood and curses spilled upon it. Which one do you want to risk your life for? Which one do you think you have a better bet of not, you know, dying? <laughs> You let me know by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What do you think? Did this video throw a wrench in your previous guesses? Or is it right in line with what you think the Secret Soap series theme is? You gotta let me know down in the comments below. This soap will be available to purchase on October 5th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. Also, just so you know, I am working on stuff behind the scenes. Some of it might be available in October, but probably November. So, do you see my eyebrows wiggling? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment down below. You guys have been chattering a lot together down below. Honestly, it's really cute. Y'all are so cute together. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is eating popcorn out of a stainless steel bowl. I do have a dedicated popcorn bowl that I got from Dollar Tree that looks like an old-fashioned popcorn bucket but sometimes if I'm feeling extra bougie I'll put it in a stainless steel bowl and eat it one piece at a time. Or how about buying a new plant? I decided to buy three new plants from fairyblooms.com. They're a little on the pricey side, be forewarned, but they have absolutely beautiful products and they will ship it right to your house. So I ended up getting a string of pearls and things that look like little butts. Seriously, they're little plants and they look like little butt cheeks. They're so cute. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I will see you guys next week for the next installment of the Secret Soap Series 2019. Woo. And until then, bye for now. See you guys on the internet. Be sure to use uh, Secret Soap Series 2019 if you do fan art and stuff. I have already seen some really cute stuff come in from you guys. You are so sweet. See you next week. Bye 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 bye.